Buongiorno, Yeti, which is hello in Italian. Now we're going to start today with a little bit of revision of three types of words. So we've got adjectives, which are describing words. They describe something. Verbs, which are action words, doing words or being words. And then nouns, which was the first type of word we learned about back in September, which are people, places, things and sometimes ideas. Now, I've chosen some words that we might be using in our story. And I want you to see if you can sort them into these groups. So we've got scampered, we've got dashed, we've got grey, which has got the E making an A sound, delicious, which has got a Cinderella C, apple which has got an A and then a double P. Gobbled has got an O, so it's got a double B. Then grabbed. There's so many words with these short consonants and then these double letters, short vowels and then double consonants. Trolley is another one, short O, double L. We've got an owl sound in mouse. In tiny, we've got the Y making an E sound. In tree, we've got two E's making the E sound. And little is another short vowel, double consonant. So have a think about these words and whether, first of all, can you describe them? So are they adjectives? Do they describe something? Can you be a little bit trolley? I don't think you can be a bit trolley. Can you trolley? So think about whether they fit adjectives, verbs or nouns. Either divide your page into three or you can write them just in separate lists. So let's look at the word apple. Can you be a bit apple? I don't think you can describe someone as being a bit apple. Can you apple? If I said apple, you wouldn't be able to apple. Is an apple a thing? Yes, it is. So noun, apple would go over there. So have a go at that first on your own. So let's see how many you got right. So there is a clue here. If it's a verb, because the verbs in the story are in the past, it's probably going to end in ed. So we've got scampered, that's something you can do, you can scamper. We've got dashed, you can dash. We've got grabbed, you can grab something. We've got gobbled, you can gobble something. Now trolley, can you describe someone as a bit trolley? Can you trolley? No, a trolley is a thing. Little, can you say something is little? Yes, you can. Grey, can you describe things as grey? Yes, you can. Delicious. Can something be delicious? Yes, it can. Can something be a bit mouse? Can you mouse? Or is a mouse a thing or an animal? It's an animal. Tiny. Can you tiny? Can you see a tiny? No, it has to be a tiny something. So tiny is an adjective. It's a describing word. Tree. Can you tree? Can you say you're a bit tree? No, a tree is a thing. So if you made any mistakes, make sure you've now got them in the right list. Let's go back now to our story. So this was how the story was going to start. Early one chilly autumn morning, Miss Annalise set off for school with lots of delicious fruits to share with the children in year two. So I've coloured in the two adjectives there. We've got chilly, delicious and the verbs we've got set off and we've got share. I've also coloured in early. Now I wonder if you can guess what sort of word early is. Remember, when we looked at these sentences yesterday, we saw how the first word is the same in every single sentence. The badger, the badger, the fox, the fox, the squirrel, the squirrel. Now what sort of words could we use to change the start of those sentences? Now we have used these words before. And they're called adverbs. They describe how something is happening. So verbs are what's happening. Adverbs describe how it's happening. So in the examples here, we've got endlessly chatter. We've got read carefully, swim confidently. That means you're good at it. Happily smile, write excitedly, rain heavily and cheerfully chirp. So those are all examples of adverbs. And if you notice, the adverbs that we look at in year two normally end in L-Y. There are lots of adverbs that don't, but the ones we look at in year two mostly end in L-Y. 
Let's see if you can guess these adverbs for how we are coming in the room. So see if you can think of the adverb for what we're doing and I'll ask you later in Zoom to see what your guesses are. We thought about how the animals are moving. We thought of better words of describing went and took, didn't we? We had scampered and dashed and hopped and bounced. We had snatched and seized and grabbed. So now we're going to try and extend our sentences further by thinking about how they were doing that action. So here are some examples of some adverbs. We've got suddenly, immediately, unfortunately, you probably remember those ones from before. We've got carefully, slowly, quickly, speedily, happily, sneakily, cautiously. That's quite a good one. It's similar to carefully and cheekily. So we're going to try and think about how we can use these to describe what the animals are doing and how they're doing it. Here's a sentence describing what the mouse was doing. The mouse scampered up the hill. So we're going to think about how he might scamper. So it's probably not going to be slowly. It could be quickly. I'm going to think about the noise it might make. Now, because he's a mouse, I don't think he's going to make any noise. So I'm going to say it could be quietly. Let's have silently because I don't think you'd hear a mouse at all. So I'm going to write sigh, lent, lee. Now the really clever things about adverbs is you can put them in lots of different places in a sentence. You can put them at the start of the sentence. You can put them at the end of the sentence. Or you can put them just before the verb. So let's try each of those different versions. Silently, the mouse scampered up the hill. So that's at the front. The mouse silently scampered up the hill. That's in the middle. The mouse scampered up the hill silently. So you've got three choices of where you can put it and it makes your sentences sound a lot more grown up. Here we've got the badger. And remember, I like the word amble, didn't I, for the badger. The badger ambled up the hill. Now, amble is not something you can do very quickly. So I'm going to have slowly. The badger slowly. Now, remember, let's try it again. You can put it in three different places. So you might want it at the front so you don't have to start all the sentences with the. You might want it in front of ambled. You might want it right at the end. Let's see which one sounds best. Slowly, the badger ambled up the hill. The badger slowly ambled up the hill. The badger ambled up the hill slowly. Now, I like it when it's at the front or just before the verb. I'm not too keen on it at the end, but it's up to you. And you can change it in each sentence. If you use an adverb, you can change where you put it each time. Your TLP is can I write a super descriptive sentence? So you're going to choose just one animal and one fruit. And then you're going to try and make your sentence as interesting as you can. So you're going to make sure that there is an adjective. It doesn't have to be lots. You're going to make sure there's an adverb. And a powerful verb. And you don't just have to limit yourself to just describing exactly what is happening. You can also think about what is happening to the other characters. So did I notice, a bit like with Handa with the basket, what happened next? What was Miss Annalee doing or thinking? So what was I thinking whilst it was going on? And maybe what the animal did next. So after the animal had taken the fruit, what did it do next with it? So here's an example. We've got a squirrel. You seem to be already in the trolley. <laughs> it's getting back down off the trolley. 
As Miss Annalie strolled happily up the hill, she didn't notice a cheeky grey squirrel scampering along behind her. He bounded into the trolley, quickly snatched the juicy ripe pear and scurried up the nearest tree. So all that is telling you is that a squirrel took the pear. But it's telling you in a much more interesting way. So remember, you pick one animal and one fruit and see how much you can add. So if we look at this example, let's see if we've got all of the things on the list. So we've got cheeky grey squirrel so there are some adjectives and we've got a juicy ripe pear copying a bit from hand of surprise that and we've got the nearest tree so let's have a look at the verbs i have to use orange for the verbs so it doesn't show up very well so we've got strolled which is a way of walking we've got the squirrel was scampering along he bounded into the trolley he snatched there are a lot of verbs in here the juicy pear and he scurried up the nearest tree let's find a green and see if there were any adverbs in there so miss annalee strolled happily up the hill got the cheeky gray squirrel and he quickly snatched the juicy ripe pear now the one thing you do have to remember when you're doing this is not to overdo it. In this example, we've got the tiny, teeny, little, small, weeny mouse scurried up the enormous, huge, massive, colossal, great big hill. Now, hopefully you remember what's wrong with that. All of those words are saying the same things. Teeny, tiny, whoops, tiny, teeny, little, small and weeny. That all means the same thing. Enormous, huge, massive, colossal, great big all means the same thing. So just choose the best one. You just need one meaning small and one meaning big. You don't need too many adjectives or too many adverbs. So remember, one animal, one fruit. See how interesting you can make that description.